And I thank you for what you're doing in her life. I am truly grateful for everything. The reason why I want to, I want to, I want to say this to you, because this kind of caught me off guard. I had to catch myself the other night. I had a buddy of mine that called me. Uh, he dealing with some issues. He said, you know, Green, I just need, you know, serious word for you. I need some, some, some words for you, you know, talk to me. Well, he's going to have to be out a little while because of some health issues. And he's a worker just like me and probably most of these men up here. He's like, man, my biggest thing is, you know, this is going to set me back a lot. I don't have the funds. I don't have the money to be able to be out because I'm the biggest provider of my house. You know, I get behind in all my bills. I get behind in my house. I get behind in my vehicle or whatever the case may be. And I realized that he was really depressed behind me. I would be, Earl would be, Amen. Jones would be, Amen. King would be, and probably all these men and every one of these men, all women that know what we're talking about. Amen. Mostly the burden of a man that's providing a household setup. Amen. None of us want to ever be out more than about a week or two. Because it, we, in our mind, it throws us behind. So I told him, I was like, don't worry about it. God is going to provide. Mm -hmm. God is going to take care of that situation. Yes. And then, you know, me and him talk a little bit more, and I wasn't thinking about something. I say, you know, a lot of time in our mind, we can say that, mm. but really as men, we really, it's hard for us to believe that. Amen. Even though we trust in God, and we know God is going to take care of us mm -hmm. and provide for us, in our mind a lot of time, we know God provides for us by allowing us to be healthy. Yeah. To go to our job, actually, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. To maintain what we got. Yeah. So I thought about it and I was talking to him and I was like, I feel where you at. Because I would be the same place as these men would. If we laid out six or eight weeks at a time, our mind would be running wild with how we're going to manage our home. Yeah. Even though we know, we stand up here and say, we know God going to take care of us. Yeah. But on the back side of our mind, we got doubt. Yes. Because we know we get up and go and manage to take care of our house. Because God allowed us to be healthy enough to go do that. But this is what God told me while I was talking to him. God said, I never promised you I was going to let you get stay in your home. I never promised you that your car wasn't going to get took back. I never promised you that you was going to be able to take care of the stuff that you got at your house. I never said you wasn't going to lose that stuff. I never said that you wasn't going to be able to have to move in with your mom or your dad, you and your wife, and manage that way and start over. I never said that. God told me, I said I was going to find take care of you. You the one wanted to take the house. You the one wanted to keep managing your car. You the one wanted to keep all of your stuff that you wanted to keep. God said, if I sit you down, I'm going to provide for you. It might be under the hands of your brother-in-law. It might be under the hands of your sister-in-law. It might be under the hands of your child. But God said, I never said you were going to lose your money. I never said your car was going to be repossessed. I never said your bank account wasn't going to get taken clean out. 